Ah, uh, troopers. Back in the shop. Uh, we're going shopping, dudes. Fucking cleared off the shelves. Yes, sirs. Goldie's getting an upgrade. Listen, man. I need you guys to wish me some luck. I got like six days. Six days we're doing a fully rebuilt engine. All right? Four Ziti one. Naturally aspirated, but we're going with the pace setter. Ceramic coated. And we're going for the Calmini three inch lift kit. But it doesn't stand alone. Front end gets an Aussie locker and some worn manual lockers. Gonna rebuild the full front end. Got the SKF bearings, all the seals ready to go. Oh my god, two brand new rads to choose from. We got the torsion bars. Uh, this is our steering stabilizer kit. We got our energy suspension, polyurethane bushings. And, oh yes, energy. If you're going to order energy suspension, you know they're going to cheap out on that grease. So, <clears throat> just break out the fucking big guns. Hit the Permatex. Grab yourself a tube of the dielectric grease. That's what it fucking is. You know what? Anyways... I got so much shit to install in this truck. I, it's going to get a complete makeover. We're loving this uh, Kelmini Blue. And uh, yeah, the new 4Z81 is coming along. But I need, a, I need a few horseshoes up my ass at this point because I'm fighting the time clock. I, I don't know if I'm going to get much sleep on this one. We will see what this trooper looks like, though when it's all done. It's gonna be a while before I can hit a few other upgrades, but man, we're just, we're, we're taking time and investment and in all these parts to collect. I've been hoarding parts, as you can see, for a while. Got a whole lot of stuff to do. A brand new head hiding under there. Oversized valves, bronze valve guides. Oh man, I can't wait to see this baby cook. I know it's gonna make bacon and eggs. Rubber sat down, troopers. It's a late night at the shop. And you can see we got a little fire under our ass. Hope you boys are doing good on your projects. Uh, you got a few questions, let me know. Buddy, you're working on your distributor? Man, you need to find an O-ring kit. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to cough up a part number for that. I mean, I don't even know what country you're in. If you're going to send me an email and ask me for part numbers, try to be a little more specific. And, uh, yeah, never be afraid to use that ultra copper. You know, it'll help solve a little oil leak here and there. Cheers, fellas.